In this video, I'm going to show you how to encrypt a PDF for email. First, we will cover some of the features available when protecting documents that also control how they are shared. First, open Windows Explorer, locate the document you wish to protect, right click on the PDF and choose Make Secure PDF. In the right of window, select the Document Access tab. Here you can choose whether the document can be viewed by all authorized customers, by selected customers, or by customers belonging to a selected publication. In the Expiry and Validity tab, here you may wish to restrict the life of the document, therefore restricting the amount of time it would be in use or in circulation. In the Printing and Viewing tab, you can allow printing and log the number of print requests or log the number of document views. By adding viewing or printing watermarks, you can display confidential or restricted messages that display when documents are viewed or printed. And in the Environment Controls tab, you can allow or restrict use in certain environments and on certain platforms. Once you're happy with your choice of controls, all you have to do is click Publish. Your document will now be fully encrypted and all DRM controls will be applied. The protection status window appears and confirms that the protection status has succeeded. Click OK. The document now appears in the folder underneath the original PDF. Please note it now has a .pdc extension. This is now a protected PDF file which can only be opened with a LockLizard Secure PDF viewer. I will now show you how easy it is to attach a protected PDF document and send it via email. Simply open your email client, mine is Outlook, select new email or in my case I've already pre-prepared a draft, open the draft, here is a draft all ready to go, attach as requested are the quarterly results and all I'm going to do is just drag the quarterly results document into the email and there is an attachment and all I've got to do at that point is press send. There it is gone. You could also right click on the document and choose send to and then choose mail recipient and then type your text and your message accordingly say who it's going to and again press send so either way will do. Okay. I am now logged in as the customer that the email containing the protected document was sent to. All I need to do is open Outlook in my inbox is the email that was just sent and there is the protected document. Some companies do not allow files to be opened from within emails, so copy the protected file to a folder or just click and drag it to your desktop. As I'm already a customer and have the LockList Secure PDF viewer already installed and licensed, all I need to do is just double click on the document. LockList Secure viewer opens and there is the document. So I now have full access to the protected document. OK, so once you're finished, close down the viewer, close down your email. 